Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Tu-160 is a supersonic variable sweep-wing heavy strategic bomber of Russia. It is the largest supersonic aircraft in the history of military aviation and the heaviest combat aircraft in the world capable of carrying cruise missiles with nuclear warheads. The Tu-160 resembles the US Air Force Rockwell B-1 Lancer as both bombers are having sweeping wings and can achieve supersonic speeds. However, the B-1 Lancer is smaller and was designed to be a traditional bomber, while Tu-160 was built to be a standoff weapons platform. It is also known as White Swan because of a white reflective coating applied to the bomber. This white coat protects the crew from the explosion which creates a bright fireball and emits the thermal energy. The Tu-160 features two internal weapons bay where it can carry 45,000 kilograms of nuclear and conventional weapons including long-range nuclear missiles. Each of the two internal rotatory launchers can hold six conventionally armed NPO KH-555 long-range cruise missile or 12 KH-15 short-range nuclear missile. The aircraft has a maximum speed of 2.05 Mach and cruise speed of 0.9 Mach. It has a massive range of 12,300 km without in-flight refueling and with cruise speed of 0.77 Mach carrying 6 kh SM missile dropped at mid-range with 5% of reserve fuel. The Tu-160M is an improved version of Tu-160. The program to reproduce Tu-160 aircraft in the modernized form of Tu-160M was started by the decision of the Russian President Vladimir Putin in 2015. The major upgrade to the bomber includes a new onboard radio electric equipment, NK-3202 engines and other systems. The most interesting upgrades in Tu-160M is the integration of a tail radar that scans the rear hemisphere of the aircraft to detect approaching hostile aircraft or missiles. It is also reported to have capability to reverse launch air-to-air missile after the tail radar has detected the aircraft. This can be compared with the active protection system in the main battle tanks and a capability present in no other aircraft. While hitting targets in the rear hemisphere based on the target designation from tail radar, the missile will have to turn nearly 180 degrees in flight. Now recently, that is on 30th December, it was reported that the first Tupolev Tu-160M bomber built as a completely new aircraft has completed its factory tests. Rostec, the state-owned conglomerate has reported the delivery of two Tu-160M bombers. One of the aircraft was older Tu-160 upgraded to Tu-160M standards and the other one was entirely new aircraft built on the upgraded version. The two Tu-160M bombers have been transferred to the flight test station where the necessary test of the aircraft system and engines as well as onboard radio electric equipment will be performed after which the aircraft will be transferred to the Russian Air Force. At present, Russia has six reported Tu-160Ms out of which four aircrafts are upgraded from the existing fleet of Tu-160 and two are entirely newly built one. Russia intends to build 40 of new units at a rate of 2 to 3 Tu-160M per year. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.